Hello everybody, Jason Noblay here and once again I'm going to do a voiceover of one of my workout sessions. Alright, so here about to do some squats, oh wait a second, I have to wait because this guy had to come talk to me even though I was setting up. Sometimes gym etiquette seems unknown. When you're about to set up for an exercise, don't go. So don't go up and talk to the person setting up on the exercise. Let them do their set, then ask them. All right, so this is 300. I'm doing this for two sets of eight, high bar. It really, right now with the volume squatting I'm doing, it's not really heavy. I'm just winded after performing that many squats so the limiting factor actually right now is probably my conditioning which that will improve the more I'm doing it so it's all good I think and after squats I did deadlifts now with my deadlifts I'm using a hook grip and I'm very very new to hook grip. Hook grip is definitely my limiting factor and I think it's kind of having a little negative on my overall technique. You can see my foot come up, my right foot come up for some reason and I think I'm just thinking about my thumbs hurting which I guess I just have to get used to. And now on to, I did five sets of one on the deadlift. Now on the leg press, which I did three sets of 10 at 930 pounds. This is just to get extra volume for my legs with a lower intensity exercise instead of doing more squatting since I'm squatting as often as I am. And I've added glute hip thrust into my program just because I feel that glute strength and muscle mass could really be beneficial for powerlifting and sports and strength sports in general so it's something I feel that was a intelligent thing to add to my programming still very new to this exercise still very weak as well um, my form is probably shit and the base was not very sturdy but that's all I really have at my gym and that was 175 pounds by the way now on to my last exercise for my lower body today which is just hamstring curls this is something I'm doing three times a week at the moment just because I feel it's I can't have enough hamstring strength and ha seated hamstring curls are a very good exercise for hamstring strength so I'm doing this three times a week normally for three sets of 10 to 15 and after lower body I typically do a few more accessories to something that I just feel I need so they're typically low intensity isolations. so the first one was cable flies which starting to like it's interesting I haven't been doing many isolation movements now that I'm adding isolation movements I'm I'm starting to enjoy some of them and I'm hoping that they'll have genuine benefit to my powerlifting as well the I mean they should benefit my hypertrophy in some way and here is an overhead tricep extension with the cable I decided just to use cables today I with my accessories isolations I don't really strictly have a set program of exercises to do I normally for triceps I have one overhead type extension and one push down. So the push down is normally the same every time, but sometimes I'll do dumbbell skull crushers. And I just, for, for this exercise, I think it's just fine as long as I'm pushing myself hard enough to where at least it's at least difficult in 10 to 15 reps. For nothing under that just because I don't feel it's necessary to go any heavier than that for a tricep extension. And that's basically just my reasoning for doing it. I figure just added tricep strength 
should be beneficial for my bench press, which is my worst lift by miles. My bench press is really poverty at the moment. So adding as much muscle to my triceps and my chest as possible is probably going to be beneficial in the long run. And now for my last exercise, which was just a cable push down and really nothing else to it. It's just cable push downs. All right, guys. So tell me if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe. And if you're enjoying these voiceovers, I will be open to doing more of them in the future. All right, guys. Thanks. Talk to you next time. Peace.